What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Ari Visuals YouTube channel. So uh, if this is the first video of mine you've ever seen and the YouTube God somehow brought you here, thank you for clicking the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you guys have already been to the channel, we're gonna be talking about some cool tech savvy stuff again today. And I'm gonna try to teach you how to fix a problem that a lot of people are having with their X570 motherboards. Uh, it's this annoying noise that starts to happen because of a fan that's on the board. And it sounds a little bit, you know what? I'm not gonna try to replicate it for you guys. I'm gonna let Harry and Lloyd tell you. So Lloyd, take, take it away. Tell them how it sounds. Guys, guys, guys. Ooh, yeah, pretty freaking annoying, right? All right, well, it's not that noise, jokes aside. It's something like that. And if you found this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And we're gonna go ahead and try to teach you how to fix that today in this video, right after a word from our sponsor. Are you tired of that annoying Windows activation watermark on your desktop? VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20, after adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. Okay, X570 boards for AMD. Yeah, we all thought they were freaking awesome and I mean, they really are. I mean, take a look at the board that I had right here. I actually got this back in 2019 when I redid my computer and I actually really did a bunch of upgrades to it. Uh, if you guys are, you know, been following the channel for a while, you probably saw this. Uh, but yeah, I've had this board for quite a while and it's been awesome. It has all sorts of really cool features. Uh, but yeah, then eventually it started making this weird freaking grinding noise that was so annoying. Take a listen. So, if you came to this video because you are experiencing that exact noise, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not some of the things you probably thought it was. I did a lot of digging around some forums and stuff like that, and I, got, I found a little post on an AS Rock forum of somebody who was having a similar problem. It seems that this is not an isolated issue. It's not something that just I had, which was really cool, and that is why today I wanna help you guys go ahead and remedy that because I haven't really seen anybody do a video on it. So hopefully we can fix this today. Okay guys, so the first step, at least for me, your motherboard might be a little different, but my first step was to go ahead and remove this uh, heat armor that my motherboard has. So it just requires three screws uh, with this special screwdriver that came with the motherboard. And uh, once I got those out, I can then go ahead and take off the heat armor shield that covers everything, and then we can get to the next part. And now this also has a little power plug right there for the RGB lighting that's on it. So you go ahead and just pull that lightly and it can come completely off. Okay, now that we have the armor off, we can actually see down in the bottom right of the board right here where the chipset fan is. This is what the actual cause of that grinding noise is. So apparently these fans have a tendency to go bad and the bearings can start grinding and that's what causes that noise you guys heard. So to get this out, I'm showing you right here with my wow stick, the little flashlight on it, that there's three screws you gotta remove uh, around the fan blades. And as you rotate the fan, you can go ahead and see where these screws are located. And basically all you gotta do is just use any Phillips head screwdriver to remove them. And then that'll let the fan come loose. But that's not all we have to do because it does have a power cord here to the right side. So what I went ahead and did was uh, take a Phillips head screwdriver and my finger to apply pressure on both sides to go ahead and pop that thing loose. And after that on my board, I just had to move this little piece of foam to the side and then you could actually fully pull the fan out and visually, there looks like there's nothing wrong with it. So once again, it has to be something that has to do with the bearings on the inside that went bad or something like that. But either way, we gotta replace this thing. So probably like many of you out there, the first thing I did was go ahead and research what kind of fan it was and look it up and find the model name. And so I just basically took the model name and put it into Amazon and it looks like there might have been a couple of matches to it, but if you guys look closely, this is not the correct fan because the placement of where the screws will go. So yeah, 
it's the right model number, but you guys will notice that the actual model has a little two on the end and the screw down points are different. So this is when I realized that this fan is actually a proprietary fan that you cannot buy aftermarket, at least right now of my knowledge, and you actually need to contact your motherboard manufacturer directly in order to get one. And I'm gonna tell you how I did that right now. All I did was send them a little email to their support on their website and told them that I would like another one of these fans and that I did not want to wait for an RMA to send it to them. I figured I would just tell them that I was capable and I wanted to do it myself and I accepted responsibility if anything bad happened. So to my surprise, they emailed me right back and just said, what's your address? No questions asked and they sent me another one. And that's what happened. I have it right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this replacement fan and throw it in here for you guys. And then we're gonna see if that fixes the problem once I build my computer. That's when we'll conclude this video. So let's go ahead and get this thing put in the motherboard and finish this swap. Okay guys, so it's a couple weeks later and I have finally finished my new PC build and the uh, X570 Tai Chi is now in that PC right there, you guys can see. Uh, if you guys have not seen the full build video on this, it'll be in the top right corner if you guys wanna check it out. But nonetheless, it's in there and I can't hear anything like it used to sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lav mic real quick right next to my PC and then I'll stop talking so you guys can hear it. But there is zero grinding noise now, so it looks like that little fan kind of, fit, it actually fixed the problem completely. So check this out. Let me go ahead and put my lav mic right next to the PC window. So I can't hear anything. Here's the AIO. You might hear the fans a little bit, but that's it. Yeah, so you can hear the fans ramping up a little bit right there as my computer's doing some stuff, but that's all I ever hear. And then again in the front right here, I hear nothing. So, uh, yeah, I can say that this is a perfect fix for it. And uh, hopefully you guys can use this to uh, help your own uh, board and, you know, not not consider your board dead if you guys decide, you know, that this is happening to you as well. So that's going to be it, you guys. Mine is fixed. I Hopefully you guys, like I said, can use this information to fix yours as well. Uh, and yeah, if, if you found this helpful, go ahead and give the video a like. That way I can keep making more cool tip videos like this for you guys. And then uh, go ahead and get subscribed to my channel with those notifications on so you can see more uh, tech content like this. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.